Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network. The Fire and Ice Street Festival is back in Qualicum Beach coming up on May the 3rd. And in honor of that, we're in the kitchen here at the Lassa Restaurant at the Qualicum Beach Golf Club. We're making some chili. From Germany to Gabriola for a hands-on farming experience, it's Poetry Month in Canada and Nanaimo's poised for a challenge and Steve Drain married to the motorcycle. You are watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4 and we're here in the kitchen of Thalassa Restaurant in Qualicum Beach making chili today in anticipation of the upcoming Fire and Ice Street Festival taking place on May the 3rd. That's Aura and she says that she's going to give us insight into almost all of her secret ingredients in chili but not all. We're doing that in the next 30 minutes. But we're starting off today on Gabriola Island. There are some German students there who wanted to get hands-on experience farming. With that story now, Rayanne LaPlante. That is looking pretty good and oh, if you could smell it. And that's only in the early stages of preparation. We're preparing, of course, for the upcoming Fire and Ice Street Festival taking place on May the 3rd. We're here at the Lassa Restaurant. This is Aura and this is one of the secret ingredients. It is. Okay, now that's all we're going to tell you. And if you know what it is, good for you. If you don't, you can come on down to the festival on the 3rd and the fine folks from Thalassa will fill you in. So what is the, how do you start with the chili? What have you done already? So what we've done is we've started with red and white onions, carrots and celery, and we let them sweat a little bit in some olive oil. Oh, okay. We then add uh, beef and pork and our secret ingredient. And there is a ratio that we use just so that it uh, gives it a little bit of flavor and variety. Okay, pretty good hints on the secret ingredients here. And we've got two different kinds of beans, black beans. Yes. And kidney beans. So you called this a traditional chili, but it seems a bit of a, a pumped up version. Well, I mean, everybody's version, I guess, of traditional these days has changed. Um, in the restaurant industry, they like to give everything a little bit more oomph. So we add uh, more beans that you wouldn't necessarily do at home. Now, is this a recipe that you're following? Are you doing some experimenting here? Uh, no, this is one that we had used uh, three years ago when we were uh, people's choice at the chili oh, contest. So okay. we have won an award based on the people and this is our recipe uh, from that time. And you're following the same thing. Now we've got bacon here, I see. We do. So it's a hickory smoked bacon. Sounds good. And I don't, I'm not giving you the ingredients too quickly, am I? No, nope, you're okay. good. We're just going to keep mixing. Once we get everything about two thirds cooked. Oh, I'm not, I'm not supposed to nibble, am I? Well, that's okay. <laughs> then we it just really let good. it simmer. Pepperoni? Pepperoni. Wow. Now, how long would you let this simmer for? We're going to let it simmer for about five or six hours. Holy. So you want the spices to really get in there and meld. And what kind of spices have you put in there? Uh, we'll add the spices once we get the meat going. Uh, okay. We've got cayenne pepper, salt, pepper, and then we have one more mystery ingredient that we'll add along the way. Okay, now how many, right now, you know, it's kind of a decent sized bowl of chili that we've got going yep. on here. You're expecting to serve, what, 5,000 people on May the 3rd? They are, we're looking between 30 and 40 gallons of chili. Holy So smokes. you would have pots that are about this big and you'll have two or three of them for each team that comes forward. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And you have high hopes of taking home some awards again this year? We are. This year, um, as every team that goes in, you always want People's Choice Awards, voted best. So being that we've had a year off, everybody's kind of coming in with a fresh palate. So it'll be a lot of fun. Okay, excellent. Now we're going to talk about one more secret ingredient later on this edition of Go Island. And there's a lot more to the Fire and Ice Street Festival than just chili. We're going to look into that as well. It's time now for a short break. Still to come today on Go, Nanaimo's Poet Laureate and National Poetry Month. And you could say that Steve Drain's other name is Harley Davidson. Did you know that Dorothy is the oldest functioning sailboat in Canada? She was built in Victoria in 1897 and she is being restored on Gabriola Island for the BC Maritime Museum and will sail again in the Victoria Classic Boat Festival in 2015. You are watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. 
Aura here is adding tomato sauce and diced tomatoes with the liquid still in after she's got the meat and veggies into her chili pot. Did you know that April marks the 16th anniversary of Poetry Month in Canada? Well, it's true. And to celebrate that, Nanaimo Mayor John Rattan has entered into a little bit of a challenge with the mayor of Regina. You can get more information on Nanaimo's poetry by visiting www.nanaimo.ca slash go to slash poetry for more information on that. In honor of Poetry Month and to celebrate, we're going to revisit a story that Kelly Robinson did about Nanaimo's very first Poet Laureate. Here she is. Naomi will be giving a poetry reading at Nanaimo City Council meeting on Monday. That's April the 28th. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. Jim Lynch, Lynch is the chair of the Fire Nice Street Festival. And I've seen the, the Facebook promos and stuff and it says we're back. We're back. Where did you go? Well, we were, didn't have a, a festival last year because we were a little short on volunteers and didn't get it organized in time. But we took the year and we were sort of redoing a few things and making sure that we have it um, all ready to go this year. I think it was really missed in the community last year. It's a funny thing. The people of the town really love the promotion. We Some of the merchants um, don't do as well that day, but the restaurants and that do better than the normal and mm -hmm. uh, as a as a promotion it's great for the town of Qualcomm. And I think even if you don't go into a particular shop and and spend money that particular day you might say hey I didn't know Faye's Gifts was here Absolutely. or whatever it might be. Absolutely. Now how many volunteers does it take to put on an event like this? On the day of we need about a hundred volunteers. That's a lot. It's a lot. Because it's more it's about more than just chili. It's about uh, more than chili. There's ice <laughs> carving, there's music, there's a kids zone ice cream. And a lot of the town's blocked off a different structure this year or layout than in the past? Uh, it's close to what it was last year. We, we're only going on the one side of Memorial, but all of 2nd Avenue is blocked off and Primrose and, and Beach. Okay, now we haven't actually um, acknowledged why you're dressed like a pirate this at the moment. There's a reason. This year's themes is pirates <laughs> and I mean I'd be the best looking pirate but, I, but I'm taking one for the team by <laughs> by making sure everyone knows that there's a pirate theme this year. Okay, now I don't know if you can see it at home there, but there's team members giggling uh, behind the scenes as we speak, as he's standing here taking one. All I know is it, it's hard to do this. <laughs> so how many people are you expecting to, to descend upon Qualicum Beach, and how does the actual chili tasting work this year? Well, we're going to be selling wristbands. We're going to be selling about 3,000 wristbands. We expect about 5,000 people to come down to Qualicum Beach, and. Uh, of course, that's weather dependent, and we're hoping for a nice day. And last year, when we didn't have the, the event, it was the nicest oh. first Saturday of May you could ever have found. Okay, now I just want to clarify you. Did you say weather dependent? If it rains, it's canceled? No, we're still on. Okay, so it goes rain or shine. But we'll get more people if the weather's nice, Absolutely. of course. Absolutely, but then people like me who don't like to stand in lines for food. Yeah. But and the wristband should help with that. Not a Absolutely. lot of backlog in the Absolutely. vendors. How many people are going to be serving up chili? Uh, we have 17 food groups and uh, giving hot food and we have um, a thousand uh, yogurt tubes we have uh, about 1200 uh, uh, pulled pork sliders this year we have um, Dee's Lounge is going to be giving out jambalaya and okay. we have ice cream yeah nice sounds like a lot of fun three entertainment stages did three. I hear correctly three. and we have Valdi a Canadian legend and he's performing when and he's performing what time at 1230 to about 130 perfect Jim, thank you. Thank you. And Jim. good luck, and thank, thank you. you for taking on this huge task thank as you. a volunteer yourself. Thank you. Yes. Of course, this all takes place in downtown Qualicum Beach on Saturday, May the 3rd. The event runs from 11 a.m. until 3 p.m. And there is a website. I believe it's www.fireandicestreetfestival.com. You can get full details and listings there. They have a Facebook page as well. We'll be back with more uh, secrets ing secret ingredients in Chile after a short break. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. This is the other secret ingredient that's going to go into the chili here at Thalassa Restaurant. And it smells so good, but it doesn't really smell like anything I've smelled in a liquid before. What is it? It's called liquid smoke. Liquid smoke. Is this a common thing? It can be. It's more of a barbecuing thing, but you can add it to chili. Um, you're going to 
you know, you want to watch your quantity. It, there is a very little amount. Here. There's very, very little. But this is very strong. Yes, extremely strong. So high, high potency. How do you get liquid into, or, or smoke into a liquid form? We buy it at our, with, through our supplier at a grocery store. You can pick it up and, um, yeah. Is it expensive? It's not expensive, um, relative for what you use, I would say. Okay. So you'd use it for barbecuing and some marinades and glazes yep. and things like that? You can like put it that. on anything with that. Uh, mostly meat. Sometimes people do chicken. Okay. I've never heard of it before. Okay. Can I pour it in? Yeah. Go right ahead. Up. Or I'm going to pour it in here. This is looking really good. And is it true that chili, kind of like spaghetti, gets better with uh, age, sort of the more it sits and... It does. You want your flavors to come out. So to do that, that's where you make chili usually the night before, bring it back to heat before you're going to eat it, and that's when you get all your flavors. If you were to try this now, all you would taste is the liquid smoke. Okay. You actually wouldn't taste any other flavors. So as it sits over, you know, six or eight or ten hours on the stove, that's what brings all the flavors out. Okay, so you got to plan ahead, but it's pretty easy to make, really, easy which is why it's a comfort food. Yes. Yep. So, okay. Well, we're going to come back after we have a look at Steve Drain, and we're going to uh, taste some of the chili. But for Steve Drain's middle name or full name might as well be Harley Davidson. Paul Beilstein now looks at the life and times of the iconic Harley Davidson man out of Victoria. Nice stretchy cheese, eh, guys? Yeah. Yeah, this is awesome. What do you think? Thumbs up? Pretty good chili here from Thalassa Restaurant. I think they're going to give anybody competing on Saturday, May 3rd at the Fire Night Street Festival a run for that honor. It runs from 11 a.m. until 3, downtown Qualicum Beach, May the 3rd. Another event to tell you about is the Island Fantasy Ballroom Dance Competition and Show is coming up in Nanaimo. That runs May 3rd and 4th. And you can get full details online for that as well. Islandfantasyball.ca, I believe, is that website. So we're going to eat some more chili. We're going to see you out downtown Qualicum Beach on May the 3rd. The Fire and Ice Street Festival is back. This is pretty good. I can sure taste that uh, liquid smoke. Mm. Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network. Clothing supplied by Catwalk Fashions. Kate's hair and aesthetics provided by Matteo Salon.